So she's working, Adam's working, and it's Saturday night. So tonight, unfortunately for my night off where the kids go to my sister's house, I didn't really have anything to do. So I called my old morning show co-host, Jeremy, who actually co-hosted with me and Adam on a morning show on my previous radio station. And funny story, just to give you some background, because a lot of people ask, how do you know Shay Carl? Well, Shay Carl used to be a listener on our radio station that I was on. And uh, we were on a morning show, me, Adam, and Jeremy. And it was, it was a killer morning show. It was a lot of fun. They were not only the funniest co-hosts, but uh, we seriously had a funny show together. But um, anyways, we'd always get a, a caller who'd call in and uh, guess croquet for every single question, answer, trivia game we would have. Somebody would always call in and go, is it croquet? And so they started getting known as the croquet guys. And then we narrowed it down to one guy who called all the time and would razz us. And he was funny. You know, Adam got tired of it sometimes, but I always thought it was hilarious. And uh, we found out this guy's name was Shay. So we started calling him Croquet Shay. And he was so funny that we ended up having a, him a judge on one of our trivia contests. And then it just kind of took off from there. I ended up leaving the station and they hired Shay because he's so freaking hilarious. Anyway, so um, so Adam and Jeremy being my old uh, morning co-hosts, they're still very good friends of mine. And since Adam's busy tonight and Shay's busy tonight, I've decided to call up Jeremy and see if he wants to go see the movies. Now, we were looking at all the different movies that we wanted to see. I said, I want to see Expelled. That's the one with the guy from Bueller. Bueller, it's kind of like a liberal, political religious kind of documentary type movie. And uh, then there was the 21 movie. And what was the other one? Oh, Drill Bit Taylor I wanted to see. I haven't seen a movie in so long. Last time I think I went to a movie was Horton Here's a Who. So, and that was with the kids. So I wanted to see something for uh, me tonight. And uh, we ended up, <laughs> we ended up, uh, Jeremy wanted to see, what is it? The, the Lost Kingdom or... The, the something kingdom, Jet Li and Jackie Chan, which I think are amazing. I love films like that, but this one just sounds funny because it's got a monkey king. So I was teasing Jeremy about it. I go, oh, I hear it's a good movie, but there's a monkey king in it. So it's not going to obviously be that serious, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe I'll be just floored by it. And then there's part of me that's going to go, there was a monkey king in it. How good could it be? So we'll see what happens. But um, I definitely loved Horton Hears a Who. Last time I went to the theaters, Katie stole the show. That little yellow puffball. I have her in my favorites because <laughs> she's hilarious. There, She is mentally wrong in the head and it cracks me up. So there you go. Anyway, so that's where I'm off to. I'm off to go hang out with Jeremy and... Um, Took my band-aid off from cutting my finger. It's not too bad, so it just looks like a plateau of skin missing. Uh, or I should say, it looks like a plateau on my fingertip now since I have skin missing. But uh, it looks better than the band-aid. When I was at work today at my remote, I was pointing at things going, Oh, how much is that? How much is that? And I could see the sales girl, like, her eyes kept on getting drawn to my band-aid. And she would just look at it in horror because it got dirty over the day. Because I'm not... <laughs> I'm not a very proper person. I'm always, you know, I was fixing my tail lights earlier, so of course my band-aids are going to get a little dirty on the outside. <laughs> and so she just looks down in disgust like, oh my goodness, what is on your finger? So I finally just ripped it off today just to spare everyone the nauseousness of my dirty band-aid. So <laughs> anyways, off to the movies. I'll let you know what I think of The Monkey King coming up later on. Maybe I'll make a movie tonight since I'm going to be a little bored. So there you go. Anyways, okay, bye-bye. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> I like like samurai movies and kung fu movies. They're cheesy, yes, I know, but I love them. So I enjoyed it, but it, there was definitely a lot of laugh out loud moments, but I do that at samurai movies. I love the choreography. I love what they can do, but uh, for the most part, it was basically in the beginning of the movie, it was never-ending story meets Karate Kid, and then for the rest of the movie, it was The Matrix meets Bruce Lee meets The Power Rangers. So, overall, <laughs> it was okay, but uh, the bad wigs and the funny dialogue, I mean, you could tell that they knew it was going to be a joke, but uh, there was some, like, mythical aspects to it that were kind of eye candy to me, but uh, for the most part, it was definitely, you know, just your usual 
kung fu movie and I, I'm a sucker for kung fu movies, so I enjoyed it, but it's not one that I'd be like, oh yeah, go out and spend eight bucks. We have cheap seat theaters here, so after it goes to the big wig theaters, then goes to the cheap seats, which is like $2. I would recommend people seeing it in the $2 movie theater, unless they're like hardcore Jackie Chan, Jet Li fans, then, you know, go spend the, the seven, eight bucks, or I guess 10 bucks, just depending on where you're from. There's a lady who's unlocking her door. I'm going to pretend I'm checking my messages <laughs> oh the phone's upside down she's not gonna believe that <laughs> I'm not recording a video of myself cuz that would be dumb why would you sit in a dark parking lot recording messages for yourself I would just and she's probably wondering why I'm talking to myself too interesting isn't it uh, 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 uh. Well, she's driving away now out of my peripheral. I can see all this because I'm amazing. But now I don't know what to do. I'm bored. Guess I could go home. The kids are at my sister's house spending the night because they always do a slumber party on Saturday nights. So I'm all by myself on Saturdays. And when I don't have anything to do, I get bored. Shay, Adam, quit working and come play with me. Hmm. I know, I'm going to call at, let me call Shay. He's DJing, so it's probably going to be really loud, and then he won't be able to take my phone call. You know, the last video I made where I said, oh, I'm calling Croquet Shay. Yes, that was a joke I was pretending, but now I'm really going to call him.